And what do you make of how Bergman treats women in the movie? Well, there is a certain element of knowing what is going to come in his later work, where women take an increasingly important part, and um, in fact in some of the movies uh, there are almost nothing but female characters, uh, which again may relate to his wife and his, uh, his, his succession of mistresses and, uh, uh, and, and uh, children that he had with uh, the various people who, who formed a part of his life. Um, so, I, I mean, in a sense, I've always found it uh, an interesting fact that um, although there are women characters, uh, it is actually the knight and his servant who are the, the most memorable characters in uh, The Seventh Seal. Uh, but uh, one does know that uh, all these women have a, a role. There is the, uh, uh, the housekeeper, there is the, uh, the mother, uh, there is the, uh, uh, the one who, uh, as it were, only tags on to them, but uh, it is actually the last big close-up in the film. Um, as she prepares herself to uh, to face and confront death, um, I, I think uh, Bergman had a very, very uh, wide-ranging interest in female psychology and in uh, the role of women in, in in his life and, by definition, also our lives, um, and that. Um, uh, in the Seventh Seal, uh, they were only playing, uh, as it were, background roles, uh, and, and that uh, it was in the later films that uh, he explored uh, their consciousness in uh, almost exhaustive detail sometimes. Uh, but here, uh, they have a, a very significant part to play, which is not quite uh, as, as important in terms of screen time as, as it was to become.